hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. The story so far, episode three. Uh, will Dave Allen ever get a girlfriend as he's 29 on his next birthday, Porky? I don't know if Dave's going to get a girlfriend. I don't know. He's not got time. He's got his. He's too busy with his career, isn't he? On uh, in boxing and on social media. So Dave's no time for chicks. All Dave's got time for is training like a Trojan. And uh, and uh, going on social media, that's where Dave's, all Dave's uh, time spent. Is Derek Chisora shot to bits, Porky? Yeah, he's, he's hanging on for dear life, isn't he? The, 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 they're polishing up a turd, aren't they, with Chisora? And by the looks of it, David A will be looking for his next victim that he can pimp out. Will Dylan White ever fight for a WBC world title, Porky? No, I think that boat has sailed. Does Eddie Earn care for Dillian White? Well, he cares that much for him, he couldn't even win a purse bid for him in Bulgaria against uh, a Mickey Mouse outfit. So that's how much faith he's got in Dillian White. <laughs> hey. Does David A care for Chisora? No. Well, I don't think he does. I mean, not only did he smash a bottle in his face in Germany and then fill him in, but he then ice, ices him in a rematch in, in, a, in, a, in a rematch in, uh, in ring. And uh, now he's pimping him out to elite guys like Usek and uh, even talking him up for UFC. So does David A care for Gizora? Listen, no he doesn't. David A cares for one person in his life. And that's David Deron Hay, a.k.a. Cost Cutter. That's who David A cares for. He cares for himself. But like I said, with mates like David A, who needs enemies? Where's Kelly Maloney these days, Porky? I don't know. And I don't care. Remember when Eddie flew to Spain to be there for stab victim Kel Brook, Porky? Yeah, I remember all that. I remember that. But would he fly to Sheffield up motorway in his Rolls Royce if 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 same thing happened? I'm not so sure. Friends to the end. There's no such thing as friends in boxing. I keep telling people, money is king, cash is king. There's no such thing as friends in boxing. All these people that are back slapping people at these shows and Hawaii and group hugs and all that. It's as fake as you're going to get. It's just, it's embarrassing. And like I said, I'm into my sixth year of seeing it now. It is totally embarrassing. There's maybe 1% of your mates. The rest of them, they just start for what they can get. Will Peter Fury take Yui to the promised land, Porky? Yeah, eventually I think he will. I think there's no rush with Yui. What is he, 25, 26 year old? I think he's 26 in a few months, isn't he? No rush whatsoever. Porky, are you, do, you, do you ever believe that you're an helmet? Yeah, I am an helmet at times, but I've never made top 15 yet, so I must be doing good. But 
if people want to vote me as an helmet I'm sure they'll add, they'll add it up and the, they'll tell me if I'm ranked as an helmet so it's up to you if you want to put me as an helmet but I don't want to be an helmet I mean there's no lower than being called an helmet is it it means that you're a tosser that's what it means it means for that particular month for that particular month you're a tosser so did Roy Jones punch that hard Porky well go and ask Clinton Muds do we care for a Mayweather McGregor rematch Porky no do we act who wants to see that it should have never even been down as a boxing match is Andre Dirrell a spent force uh, no but he could make a good living running backwards because that's all he does isn't it but a great fighter but he's got the heart of a breadcrumb did Joshua's speech help the UK moving forward Porky no I don't think it did but all them people defending him are all team matchroom aren't they Joshua would have been better going to that rally or thing or whatever it were that he turned up at with all his uh, mates in all matching uh, black power tracksuits or whatever it is black lives matter tracksuits so he'd have been better off turning up grabbing out of the microphone not reading somebody's speech and just saying it from the heart saying listen all lives matter but this is not how we should be doing it we shouldn't be rioting and things like that but as much as I ain't got no respect for the police myself uh, there's there's a lot of other victims isn't there in, in innocent people and shopkeepers and a lot of people on edge isn't there over it all and it is what it is isn't it I mean I don't want to make this about race and that but Joshua he tried to get involved and be Muhammad Ali didn't he but he'd never be Ali would he because Ali would have turned upon his own wouldn't he that's when you that's when you've got power when you can just turn up at something like that on your own or with Bundini in, in tow with him you don't need to be walking around with groups of people like Mayweather do you so but it is what it is and so Joshua made himself look a total helmet is Andy Ruiz a clown turning up fat as a pig Michelin man in Saudi yeah he ruined his chance didn't he another, he'll go down as another Buster Douglas but at least he beat a champion didn't he which is more than Tony Bellew has done in all his career British Commonwealth European and world title Mr Vacant Belt uh, do Joshua and Eddie care about our our hate for Stubbub no they don't care about it they're laughing their heads off they go to bed at night and laugh on the pillow put their head on the pillow and laugh is Mike Tyson a convicted rapist? Yes. Is Richard Towers retired? Yes. Uh, did Dominic Ingall work as a security guard at Sainsbury's Porky? Yes, in regarding sandwiches and where they have all crisps and KP roasted nuts, wine gums and things like that, Haribos, he was guarding all them. If he'd have done well, they might have put him guarding booze and that, but you start off on sandwiches, prawn sandwiches and that, don't you, at Sainsbury's? You're walking around in a tight top that said Sainsbury's on it. <laughs> it didn't last long. Will Bob Arum outlive Eddie Earn? Yeah, probably. Is Amir Khan and Asi finished with boxing? Uh, Amir and Amir is finished with it now, yeah. So... But you never know if it right off for Ami might come back. But I very much doubt it. So, but at this moment in time, the Ami Khan Kell Brook fight is dead. Is Gareth Davis the biggest rimmer out of the boxing media? Uh, he's one of them, isn't he? Uh, it's because of Gareth Davis that TCP, shares in TCP, is up a fortune. So it is what it is. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all i just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing it means a lot to me uh, because we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right 
Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on trucking.